Good evening and thanks so much for choosing KLBK News. I'm Terry Furman. 28 dogs were taken from a condemned home in southeast Lubbock after first responders found them living in filth. And Lubbock Animal Shelter is calling it one of the worst cases they've ever seen. Our Emily Harrison has been following this story and was there when the dogs were taken. I just walked up to the door and put my head in and uh, almost immediately started gagging. Layers of feces all over the floor and sick with mange and fleas. That's what 28 dogs and their owners have been living in. It's one of the worst cases I've seen. There's about a foot and a half of dog feces caked on the floor. Um, the stench is unbelievable. Um, even this far away from the home, you can smell it. Lubbock Animal Shelter was called in to investigate after first responders were called to the home for a medical emergency, but couldn't get inside because of the sheer number of dogs. She came to the store, a door with the wooden stick and was having to push dogs back. And she stood outside, uh, inside the screen door and told me she couldn't leave her own home because the dogs would escape. I tried to help her get out and three dogs did escape. So rescuers suited up, taking dogs out one by one for medical assessment. We'll stay in there for a certain amount of time and then somebody will come out, take a breather, take out the mask, um, catch her breath quick and then of course step back in just to get it done as soon as possible. Lubbock Animal Shelter thinks that they've rounded up all the dogs that were inside the home, putting them in cars like this to be transported later. And that's why they are asking the Lubbock community to please get involved and help them with emergency fosters. These animals are going to need a lot of socialization, possibly medical care, but we do want to ask the community to go ahead and give us what resources they can to help this family and, and these animals. Emily Harrison, KLBK News. Now, the shelter has already started medical treatments for most of the dogs, but what they need most right now are experienced foster families willing to take some in. These dogs are highly unsocialized and were born and raised inside that house. If you can't foster, LAS says they are taking donations, and you can reach them right there at the number on your screen.